Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the new Gretsch Streamlander series. This model is the G2420T. T stands for Bigsby. I don't think that's accurate. Okay, T stands for tremolo. That probably makes more sense. Okay, so T stands for tremolo. So the reason that's important is this model is the G2420 and they make it in the G2420T. Now, if you go online and look at the Streamliner series by Gretsch, you'll notice that there's three models, all having different nomenclatures attached to them, but all having this option of having a T at the end. That means that you can get it a Bigsby or non-Bigsby option. That's definitely new for them, especially in a price point guitar. The Pro Series doesn't even really offer that very much across the series. This line offers it across the entire line. So let me give you my first impressions of the guitar right away. Out of the box, it was almost in tune and the action was very, very good. In fact, I just tuned it up and went. That was the positive. The negative was the G string was and still is having trouble staying in tune. That is, uh, I've looked at it and it's definitely because the nut slot is just cut a little shallow or I should say a little narrow and it needs to be opened up a little bit with either some 400 grit sandpaper or maybe just some lubrication or you could even use a pencil, you know, right, to get in there. But it needs a little lubrication because I can, see? Knock it right out with a bend. So I'll address that. If you get it at a mom and pop shop, they should be able to take care of that before you even leave the store. So just be aware of that. If you're ordering online, that's something you're gonna may have to contend with when it shows up at your door. Now that's not a dig against the guitar. I have found very few guitars in this price range that doesn't have that particular issue. So let's get there. Okay, so let's compare it against the Electromatic for a second. And that's kind of what I want to do. I want to see when this new guitar came out, I want to see what is it comparative to the Electromatic series. So here is an Electromatic, the one we're more familiar with. Now this is the G5420. Some of you guys might have the older version of this. It's very easy to tell. The older version would have thumbnail inlays. It would not have the binding in the F-holes and it would have the identical pickups or by at least aesthetics to the Streamliner, that style pickup versus the newer kind of Fidelitron kind of pickups. Now what's great about the Electromatic, if you haven't had one before, is they have that beautiful Gretsch vibe and feel, uh, and they're made in Korea, which is amazing. Now some Electromatics, especially in the non-hollow bodies, are made in China, but these hollow bodies are made in Korea. Now they have been upgraded. They have now, now the new versions, the 2015-16 models will have a pin bridge. So does the Streamliner. And if you're not familiar with that, that's where they actually take two pins and put in the body so that when the bridge comes off, because it's held by by the strings, you know where to put it each time without having to figure out where it goes if it falls on the floor. So that's kind of a cool feature. So let's talk about aesthetically, what is different? What did they change that made such a dramatic difference in price? Now, if you're familiar with the Electromatics, they were about, I think, $799, $729, something like that. I think they're going to $899. Don't quote me on that. I thought that's what I understood. So definitely $700 to $800 guitar. Could be an $800 to $900 guitar. Uh, by that by that logic and these guitars are easy. They are 449 450 bucks for a non Bigsby or 500 bucks for a Bigsby And it looks like they're using the exact same Bigsby as on the Electromatic, which is nice So what's different? Well first off aesthetically the Electromatic is using the actual Gritch uh, Gritch the Gretsch pick guard Which is the like translucent co color with the silver or gold backing on it where they're using just a black plastic pick guard. Now the Gretsch Electromatic is using like a Fidelitron. It's a kind of a clone of what the actual TV Jones style pickups are in the Pro Series. And they're using the actual Gretsch bezels, which are silver and have that kind of Pro Series look where these guys are using more of a humbucker with just kind of a more Gretschy kind of vibe aesthetically stuck to it. And then normal pickup bezels. The F holes in this are big and they are uh, in, they have inlay in them, you know, right? They're bound and they look great. These F holes are thin and small and they have been brushed with black paint and you can kind of see that they've been brushed with black paint. I won't lie, it's a very obvious thing. The three-way switch on the Gretsch Electromatic has the actual Gretsch tip, which is chrome with a flat top. They're using the typical plastic three-way switch that you can get on any kind of guitar. They use, the Gretsch Electromatics are using the strap locks that are found on the actual Pro Series Gretsches, where they're using a normal strap button. These are really minute little differences. A Gretsch Electromatic will actually have the Gretsch knobs with the famous Gretsch G in them that look like giant silver nickels, where they're using a new knob, which is cool. They could have used any kind of knob, but they went and found a new knob that has a very cool look to it. See how they're kind of translucent. Uh, some are black and some are gold. So they're obviously matching them with the bodies. 
Where the uh, Streamliner series really kicks is it not only has all the binding like the Pro Series and the Fit and Finish, I'm sorry, not Pro Series, the, uh, like the Electromatic, it has all the binding and all the uh, fit and finish. It actually, it's binding, if you look, is two, two tones. See how it's got the black line in there too? So it's white with black, where this is just straight up just white. And on the headstocks, where the Electromatics have no binding and they just say Electromatic, these guys have added the binding and left any kind of streamliner or any kind of notation that it is somehow different than a Pro Series off the headstock. So it has more of a, kind of like a more high-end look to it. So it is really an impressive guitar all the way around. Sound-wise, let's talk about that next. Let's do that comparison. obviously hear a massive difference in sound. To me, to my ear, the Electromatic has a brighter, kind of chimier sound, more traditional to the Gretsch tone. Now keep in mind, the new Electromatics, like this one right here, has a warmer sound than even the Pro Series. The Pro Series having more of that more chimey, Gretschy kind of twang. Uh, and the Streamliner Series seems to be removing even more of that twang. Now, does that mean you shouldn't get it if you're looking for that Gretsch sound? I don't think so. I just think that you need to be aware that there are those subtle differences. Each one, though, on its own merit, just sounds fantastic. Like I said, this one definitely has that kind of trying to do that. Let's try it again. It's definitely rounder and boomier. Um, both have D'Addario uh, tens on them, so I wanted to explain that real quick. We're using the same strings, so. So, but it definitely. I mean, it's the sound. It's a really cool guitar. I'm really impressed with the price. Definitely, obviously, it's very obvious, it's obviously obvious that they're going after the Ibanez Epiphone market with this series of guitars. Um, I think it's really cool. What I can tell you is this. It's the, it is absolutely the best hollow body guitar I think I've ever played under $500. And I really had a high opinion, or still do, of some of the Ibanez's, Washburns, Hagstrom's, and Epiphone's that I work on and play every day. So that really is a testimony to some degree to say. The other thing that's cool about it is it oozes the Gretsch vibe all day long, which means I feel like I'm actually holding a piece of the Gretsch history. I don't feel like I'm holding the inexpensive stepsister I don't think I should say that, right? That sounds mean. <laughs> I don't think I should have... Uh, it's not... It's what I'm trying to say is it is a Gretsch. That's what I want to say. It's not a Gretsch's, uh, you know, underling. So it's a very cool guitar. So I thought I'd want to show it to you. Like I said, these just hit the market. They are super new. Most of you guys probably won't even know they exist. Um, they should be out there to find online right now. So check them out for sure. And as always, guys, thanks for your time and know your gear.